Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where because my Elgato was having issues and I had to test stuff out I ended up going back and just in about 10 minutes redoing um, meeting Brasidas Bra I guess his name is uh, so I'm back now with Antusa your plan and seemed to yeah. work I heard I it wasn't my fault you last Brasidas is what that man is a long way to go to the cave. I want to test it out, because uh, it's a game, and I can do that. <laughs> I agree with Brasidas. I say we take him to the sacred cave. This isn't what we planned. The monger needs to be erased from existence. We'll fight him in a private place, and he'll die. A simple transaction, remember? If you insist, we'll meet you at the sacred cave. It was easier to do that I thought <laughs> to be like hey <laughs> we're gonna do it this way but I guess I'm the one with the big shiny spear but I just want to test this out I want to see if it's a little easier if I have somebody helping me a cultist clue how does one find a cultist clue is it I assume it's probably in the cave But, I guess I don't know. There's my, there's my bounty hunter because I killed those guys. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it could be, the, the clue could be any number of places. Anyway, if the guy doesn't show up, if Versidius doesn't show up, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll probably just go back and level up, but I want to see if I can get it done this way And then if I can I'll just spend a lot of time leveling up and I know I've seen I am behind on comments again to nobody's surprise But some people have suggested a couple of things to do For like le like quest like cool quests to level up with so So I'll be doing that at some point soon Oh. It's find a beautiful monster. Okay. Uh, that sounds like a... Oops. Medusa. The sacred cave, huh? How, why are we, does it, did we say, like, hey, buddy, we'll meet you in the cave. Meet me in the parking lot at Denny's. Except it's a sacred Denny's. All Denny's are sacred, though. They're liminal spaces. Where the things just are and are not, are made and unmade at the same time. That's a cool statue. Ooh, we look so good. So it is you, a demigod in the soot and shit streets of Corinth, killing my men, helping those fucking parasites? That's me. Ah, yeah. arrogant. Just like All right, he mother. brings up mom both times. I wasn't sure if he would. How does he know who I am, though? He must be, a, I mean, he, okay, he's a cultist, but like, we know that now, but like, at the time you'd be like, what? How do you know? My dog is eating peanut butter in the background. I gave him a toy filled with peanut butter so he'd leave me alone. Because he's like, You'll never rule these streets, you pig. Oh, you bet your pretty face this I will. This is a long Get time ago. And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off and send it to the cult as proof. Weren't they looking for Marini even back then? Or is that, I feel like that might be a more recent development. I think that's a more recent development. Also, I learned the other day, demos means, uh, I'm pretty sure it means, uh, for the people or of the people. What? You knew? Oh, I fucking knew her all right. She was big fucking trouble. But I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head. 
Demos will wish she was Yeah, why are you bringing this. up Demos? What if I bring her yours first? Get the fuck out of my city. Why didn't he... It's not yours anymore. He didn't bring... Get the fuck off my street. He didn't bring... Uh, or Demos isn't... No, he didn't bring up Demos last time. Anyway, I'm listening to, uh, after... Uh, playing Origins, I found a- I finally found a good, uh, Egyptian audiobook. I found the history of Egypt. Uh, so I'm listening to that. Which I should have been listening to before or during while playing Origins, but! Something- I believe it was Demos was brought up. And, uh... I believe it means for the people. Or of the people. You're going to fight me? Wait, 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 wait! Oh man, my friend isn't here. And there's more people. There's more uh, cult. There's more enemies. Oh my gosh! No way! No way! And the bounty hunter? No. No. All right. No. I'm just gonna have to go back and level up. Unfortunately. Let's see. Ah. Uh, here we go back to Attica. Sorry, guys, we're not gonna be able to finish the main quest uh, at least right now. This is one of those ones where like I keep following the main quest instead of doing like usually I get really caught up in side quests, but this one like each one I'm like really eager to find out what's next. And I guess because each because there's not really. For it, usually in Assassin's Creed, there's an assassin tree, right? Of, like, specific targets that you have to work your way towards. And, like, each each area or city or, or target will have a series of side quests related nearby to help you find out more information. And in Assassin's Creed 1, it was necessary for you to do these things. It's sort of optional now. You just have to be the, you know, the right level, like, in Origins and in uh, Odyssey. But it, it, I, in Origins, I made a point of at least doing one or two side quests in a city before I took out the target. At least I tried to. I think once I didn't, and I was like, yeah, I wish I had done the other side quest in the area because it was a little bit like, oh, yeah, the crocodile's still doing things. But it's just like, you know, the after effects. It, it made sense because it was like, you know, the crocodile's influence isn't going to be, you know, negated immediately. He had, like, you know underlings and stuff who are still kind of following through on orders and trying to kind of take over as the crocodile or something you know so it made sense but still it was it was nice to like have like a really solid thorough reason i don't know why this time i got a bounty hunter for killing like the last time i got a bounty hunter or this last time most recent time i got a bounty hunter for killing the targets in the warehouse. I'm, I'm not sure why that happened. Oh, hey, I guess we could stop and do the free speech with Socrates. I'll be leveling up probably for the next couple of episodes, so while I haven't, exa I haven't read that complete comment yet, I see like glimpses of them on my phone because my phone updates me. Oh, they found a new place. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wish I didn't like shove people. Wow, these dresses are so pretty though. Oh, and she's like an older woman. Oh, what? Aristophanes was talking. Wait, how many? If that one, guy, if it's that one guy, I'm gonna run. I don't think so. Why are there? Why are you all three just standing there? Hermippus has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Ermipos? How dare you compare <laughs> him to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates, else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Ermipos should say what he wants? Why? What? I just walked up. Uh, well, the thing in Athens is that you're supposed to be able, like, in democracy, the people are supposed to be able to say what they want to say. However, 
that usually gets utilized against the populace. You know what I mean? It's the people in power who can say what they want and then they influence the populace who may not know enough and they will take, you know, their, the first opinion given to them as fact, as we have seen in many modern day political scenarios. Let's uh, do the middle ground because I, uh, I'm actually curious. If, if, it, if I had had only two choices, I would say Ermiopolis should be able to say what he wants. But I'm curious if the Socrates is uh, unusually quiet option is going to say. This may be the first time I've seen Socrates listen more than he speaks. Remember it well. You may not see it ever again. I prefer to think before I speak. And now, having thought, I shall. Oh. Tell me, just as I am allowed to say what I wish, should not all be allowed to do the same? Of course not. What? <laughs> There's much you've said that I'd say you shouldn't have, Socrates. What if I say offends one, but is loved by another? Should I say nothing in fear of what people may think? That would be nice, <laughs> yes. If you have such an issue with Hermipos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to, but I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It's interesting. It's like, be careful or I'll put you in one of my plays. And it's like, <laughs> it just reminds me of like, basically that like these play writers were basically like fan fiction writers. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, if you displease me, I'll put you in one of my stories and you won't be happy about it. Like, that doesn't always happen in fan fiction. It's just, it's just like a, a funny little meme, I think, that comes up sometimes. I'll put you in an unpleasant situation. But yeah, it's really funny when you think about it. Stuff like um, The Divine Comedy. It's basically a giant freaking fan fiction. Like people try to like get all like, oh, fan fiction sucks. It's like, well? <laughs> Things like The Divine Comedy is 100% of fan fiction. You've got Virgil, who's like escorting Dante around, and like all the people he doesn't like are like suffering. Like, legitimately, all the people he doesn't like are the ones suffering in the various like, like, like uh, levels of hell. And it's like, oh my gosh. So funny. So funny. When you think about it like that, you gotta, you gotta respect fan fiction. It's a, it's a, it's a legitimate enterprise. It can't be that hard to find Ermipos. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll You're find like a him. twig! Also, I've heard that those rings that those guys are wearing on their necks are, uh, and I don't know, maybe I should look it up before I say anything, but I'm pretty sure those were, uh, those were, um, they were, um, <laughs> forgive me, but they were called cock rings as far as I'm aware. Interestingly enough, <laughs> then they were. Uh, anyway, let's go. Once enemy boss is in front of you, what are you going to say? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I promise you, it will be a grand spectacle. Okay. It almost sounds like you're jealous of enemy boss. Ha! Huh. Me envious of him? Making someone sad is easy, but making someone laugh takes true skill and talent. So he's. The comedian, I guess, and uh, Ermepos is the tragedy author. Although in Greek plays, Greek or um, comedy and tragedy were often in the same play. So I guess you could like specialize in one or the other. But I feel like in Greek plays, there, there, it was almost like according to like Aristotle and everything. You had to have an equal balance of comedy and tragedy. But I guess it depends. Depends on the author. I'm also trying to read, um, oh shoot, the Greek, uh, shoot, the historian. Why did I, he's on my ship. He's on my freaking, my blooming ship. There's an H. Ah, I woke up, like, not very long ago. Her, I got all these other names. I'm like, Anyway, I've been trying to read those as well. But I keep getting distracted. I have so many things to read. Wherever Hermipos is, I'll find him. I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to your start. Your head is too big for your body. Okay, well, I guess we can track this one since we're close by. 
Oh, okay, that's right. He was in Attica, in the northern part of Greater Athens. It is usually... Why is it heavily guarded? Oh, well, okay, apparently I've already found it. Technically. Also, I'm used to having more fast travel points within the city, but I guess these cities are technically, like, really small. And then, you know, the, the, the greater area around them have fast travel points. But still, I'm... I feel like there's usually more fast travel points. Maybe I just haven't gotten to them. But no, I mean, like, there's the one there. There's, like, only one in each area, which is odd. I guess it's... I mean, it's kind of nice to have an excuse to run around, honestly. Like, I... When I was running around earlier with that recording, it was kind of nice. Like, there was this beautiful, like, pink blossom tree area that I ran through. And there were these really cute dogs. So yeah, I enjoyed it, you know? I don't mind being forced to run around a beautiful area. And it's fun to see, like, the different, like, types of people. Although I did see, like, in a more poverty-stricken area, I should be careful. a very, like, three very beautiful, finely-dressed women sitting on the ground and I, in a circle. And I was like, that's not, no, that's, that wouldn't happen. There was like a bench, like right close by. Am I close enough to like actually get everybody? You know, it is so odd. It doesn't look like Armipos is here. I should take a look okay. around. Uh, I do find it odd that like occasionally like places like this are like off limits. I don't understand that. Usually it's very distinct what places are off limits and which aren't, but for some reason this game I feel like has a little bit of an odd time of it. Alright, I'm just supposed to look around. I don't necessarily want to kill anybody. In fact, I would rather avoid killing people in this particular instance. Because I'm not, you know, not here to like assassinate anybody. I'm just here to find somebody, but apparently I mean, I don't think I'm capable of just knocking somebody out unless I go in unarmed. Yeah, let me see if I can find with Icarus. Okay, I can get in. Oh, maybe not. Let's say maybe I can get in from the top, but it doesn't look like it. Well, yeah, I could hop in, actually. However, there are definitely people watching. <laughs> definitely guards watching. We're going hard mode. Hard mode, boys and girls. Ooh, nice. This is a lot of money for someone like Ermipos. Explains his residence. He at just least. left a pouch of money out, and he's got like, wow, look at all this stuff he's got though for soldiers. He's got like a bunch of breastplates and stuff. I'm gonna steal your stuff, cause I can. Okay, I guess I'll try the next one over and hope nobody sees me. Oh, yep, yeah, looks like I can. There is something to investigate over there. Mask from the cosmos. <gasps> Hermipos must be a member. Oh, is this what I was like finding possibly a Oh, that would explain why he was making fun of not Cleon. He was like making fun of Pericles. I mean, you can do that without being evil, you know? You can say, hey, I disagree with your methods of doing things. You know? That's the point. Looks like Cleon made notes for Ermipos on his play. Everyone's oh. alright. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's alright. Okay, I didn't have to actually go into his residence at all. Okay, cool. So, I'm apparently of the uh, opinion, maybe... Can I jump on this? 
Oh, I was actually trying to jump on the statue, but that's okay. Everyone's a critic. I, yeah, disagreement shouldn't be billed as evil, you know? You can have, like, legitimate concerns, and I think there are a lot of people in Athens who are legitimately concerned with some of the things that, like, or, like, because they're in war, Cleon is a more, like, general type, like, a more military type. However, now, the fact that at this point, oh, whoop, I'm so, I am so, no, come on. Really? Look, see? Like, how am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? Until I, like, run through an area and they find me. Oh, actually, I could probably just fast travel up. I don't have to climb, but that's me. Ooh, is this something? Ooh! Cool. Okay, no, but now that uh, Cleon apparently has somebody working, somebody who's trying to say, Cleon's the best and is probably a member of the cult. Is this something? No? Okay. Then I am very suspicious of Cleon now. Up until this point, I actually didn't think Cleon was a member of the cult because dissension shouldn't be billed as evil. Like, there are people who legitimately think they're doing what's right by opposing somebody who also thinks they're like, and they, they can like, like pe people who are evil sometimes think they're doing the right thing too, you know, right? Where it's like, you know, I'm just, and like a lot of the cult members and like the, the order, like the, the Templar order and stuff are like, we want to bring order and peace through violence, I guess, is their creed. But there are people who, I can't think of like a specific example where it's like two people who are legitimately both trying to do good things but coming, going about it in different ways. Like, when you have, like, a, more, a peaceable approach versus a more militaristic approach, you know? And both sides could be right in their own way. And one doesn't have to be evil, and one doesn't have to be a saint. They're just both... And then maybe the one, in the end, one of them realizes, Gaul, I actually ruined everything by doing this, and, like, distracting from the main, you know, problem, you know? And it makes for a very interesting sort of dichotomy, but I don't know, I'm like... Oh, oh, wow, I am so sorry. Did I interrupt my lady? What is it? I couldn't find Hermippos, but I did find Or he's being targeted by the cult. He's a member of the cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Hermippos and the cult, I'd imagine. Hermippos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah. Uh, yes, you deserve a play of your own. <laughs> I mean, it's legitimate. What is a leader ah. if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Ah. Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. Interesting. So, but now I do wonder if, because then there are people, okay, so Cleon could actually be doing what he legitimately thinks is best for the city, and that he thinks he would be the better leader than Pericles. However, people can attach themselves to people like that and, like, distort the cause, right? Where they're, like, actually, like, this guy, maybe Cleon does think he's doing what's right, but this guy attaches himself to Cleon, so, because he, he realizes that by supporting Cleon, he can sow dissent in the city and maybe get rid of Pericles. So, it doesn't necessarily have to be that Cleon is part of the cult. He could be a legitimately good man, thinking he's doing what's right. Hermippo, son of Lysis and brother to Materios, sought to undermine Athens' fragile democracy at every turn. He was a vile, impetuous man, using the theater to accuse Pericles of cowardice and to coerce Athenian voters to demand war. Secretly, he's much the same, working from the shadows to force, force Athens to fight Sparta head on. Why? He said he wanted justice for his city. Interessant. I got a couple new things, though, just by doing this, I think. Yeah, those not. I think this is... Oh, it is up a little bit, but it doesn't have the same... Yeah. 20% for crit damage. Yeah, that's the hunter damage one. 
And then we got these new greaves. Hunter damage, damage with spears, hunter damage, elements of resistance, damage with spears. Nope, one I've got perfectly good. Perfectly acceptable. I'm nearly level 20 though. Okay. Oops. Something dramatic happened and I missed it. Nope, not the monger. Oh, was I? Oh, I just need to track down. Okay. I just need to track down and kill. Or make both, I guess. Okay. Mark. Do I know where he is? Oh! He's in the Temple of Hephaestus. I should be able to kill him. There's also another quest over here. Another Socrates, man. You're all, you just you get around, my dude. All right. Well, no harm in uh, destroying another cult member. Man, though, I mean, really, like usually, I feel like Assassin's Creed cities will like, you know, you'll have at least a low ground and a high ground fast travel point. Maybe they wanted you to make more use of mounts or something. But, I mean, it's just right there. <laughs> However... Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I, sh I wish I could remember... It was when I was running in Corinth between... I, tried, I was trying to avoid them. Uh... Bar Basidius, Bar Barsidas, Barsidas, and uh, Antusa. It was a really pretty. I think it was a different route than I had gone before, and it was really pretty. Just like a little area. It wasn't like I don't think it was like it wasn't like a specific historical place. It was just a really pretty area with like beautiful flowers and trees. And Oh, he, this is where we were before. This is where we met, like, Socrates and that other guy who people liken unto Zebran. And I'm like, yeah, but this guy is a little... I don't know, man. People... I guess some people are surprised that I don't like him as much. I mean, I like him just fine. But they're like, he's like Zebran. Why don't you like him? I'm like, I like him. I just don't want to sleep with him. I don't know. Maybe it's because he's- I think- I think I said it's because he's too pretty. Like, he's like... I don't know what it is. He's just too pretty. Whereas Ze I mean, Zevran's pretty, but like, he's not that like... Specific... Blonde pretty boy whom I don't trust with, you know, as far as I can throw. Not another step closer, yeah, 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 yeah. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Well, how do I... How do I enter the area, then? There's not a lot of places to hide here. This whole area? Holy cow. Like, including this, like... Area up here. What's this? Are these, like, supplies? I don't want to destroy supplies. Because... That would undermine Pericles. Let's see if I can't whistle this guy on over. Wheat wheel! Wheat wheel! Let's see if I can even kill these guys. We're the same level, so hopefully. I can't, there's like a certain, like, height I can't go lower than. Okay, there is a door there. And he's walking out. Oh, maybe not all the way. Okay. like how it tells me, you know, oh, here's the amount of, you know, you'll kill him for, but if you do the stealth kill, you actually, like, if you don't 
just attack him, but you hold it down, you do more damage. I'm like, just show me how much it is when I'm actually trying to kill him. Like, I don't want to just attack him, I want to kill him. Let's see if I can't, like... Hmm. I don't know if I can actually sneak up on this one without that guy noticing. Like, no way, that's not what I wanted to do. Wow. Some of the kills in this are absolutely brutal, also. Come on. Like, I was going to try to jump on him off, but, like, apparently I can't do the jump kill while I'm holding on to a ledge. Which is not what I was expecting. Maybe I'll just... I, I'm like, ah, oh, his body's fine, but, you know, we're in a temple. That's right, I'm killing people on temple grounds. I'm very screwed. Very screwed. Oh my. Alright, let's see. We've cleared the path to this guy. That was fast. Okay, I was like, it wouldn't let me. The world's better off without you. <sighs> Although it does kind of make me go, hmm, because, I don't know, people are allowed to have dissenting opinions. It's just, if he is actually a member of the cult, that's the only way I can justify killing him. Otherwise, it's like, and did they realize, like, did Socrates and them realize what I was going to do once I found out what he was? And, like, how do they know? Like, that one guy, I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised Socrates knew about the cult, but that other guy, like, does everybody know about the cult? Is that just a thing everybody knows, apparently? But, let's see. I probably got more clues and whatnot. A breastplate I can't use. Assassin damage and elemental buildup. This one does have that crit while full health, which may be what's kind of helping me kill people faster. Oh, and that is part of the snake set that I have parts of, anyway. And a breastplate I can't use. Wait, more Ancient King body armor? I already have that. I, can you get, like, repeated armor? Ooh! Okay, I've killed- Oh my gosh, I have almost killed this entire branch. The sage is named the Shadow. They're waiting in an Agora. The sage is named Nyx. Elfinor's cloak had the strangest etching, a single eye. What, what is this? On her Armea Post's gloves. Upon Armea Post's gloves, an etching was found. The word Nyx was an act of fealty or provocation. I believe Nyx is means dark. Darkness. Oh, so yeah, the sage is named Shadow and the sage is named Nyx. Yeah. The sage is like darkness. Ooh. ooh. 40% damage when attacking from behind. That's cool. Uh, to complete this one, I just... In Attica, I swear... Where? Where? I went to a quarry in Attica, and there was nothing. Nothing. Maybe it wasn't a quarry. Attica. Hold on. This whole thing. Attica. Uh, maybe silver. M oh, yeah. I. Nah. Maybe. No. Oh. I mean, if he's already named, I don't have that one. That one cult isn't even named, right? Yeah, they're not named. Okay, so that cult is. Uh, that one guy is, not the one. 
Does it? Oh, I don't think it shows me unnamed cultists though. But I can't imagine there'd be too many in one area, like you know, like they all have their own places to go. I don't know if you can hear my dog, but he's uh, yep. Abandoned farmlands. Silver Mountain sounds like there's where a quarry would be, but maybe not. Anyway, um, hopefully you all enjoyed this one. I think it went a little bit long. I'm not quite sure because I was recording for like 15 minutes to try to make sure my recording wouldn't mess up again. But anyway, that was some cool stuff. Oh, and we do have this quest over here. Another Socrates quest we could go and check out, but anyway this was cool this was really interesting stuff i will hopefully get leveled up i mean i'm nearly at a level 20. hopefully i'll get leveled up a little bit quickly or a little bit quicker and then i i should probably wait until i'm on par with the guy not even like a level below because i am playing on hard and maybe i should look into engraving because i'm played for almost like 30 hours and i haven't engraved anything but the stuff I usually find is usually pretty good. So anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it and I hope to see you in the next one.